Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks, and I'm very excited to be sharing with you where we dined in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. For those of you that are just finding my channel, my name is Jennifer Sparks, and I mostly do resort tours and reviews and casinos. But you know, you have to eat while you're away. So my husband and I are visiting for two weeks, Myrtle Beach. We are fans. We love it here, and the food is absolutely incredible, almost as great as the sunsets. If you are a fan of Myrtle Beach as well or new to Myrtle Beach, now would be a great time to hit the subscribe button so you can see all the videos that I have previously made and I'm going to be making in the future of Myrtle Beach. Okay, now let's get into it. I hope you guys aren't too hungry because this video is going to make you starve in. We're going to go to Ducati's first. We were visiting Myrtle Beach January 2023. We didn't know it at the time, but it was restaurant week. What a surprise. We were staying at the Marriott Ocean Watch. It's a vacation club, and this was very close, and I heard it was awesome, and it was. Not all the restaurants in Myrtle Beach were participating in the restaurant week, and I found some of them had like a strict menu of what you could get, but Ducati's was very flexible with what you can order. They give you bread with the oil to start with. You get one appetizer to split, which we ordered the bruschetta. We both got a salad. Ducati's had a lunch special and a dinner special for restaurant week. The lunch special being a little bit cheaper, and that's where we are here, and it was a great time to come. There really wasn't a lot of people there. I had ordered the chicken marsala, and let me tell you, this was fantastic. It, it was one of the best chicken marsalas I've ever had. <laughs> you can see through this video, I like chicken marsala a lot. My husband got the chicken franchise, and you also get a choice of dessert. It was fantastic. I, this was easily probably the best value we had on the entire trip, so I wanted to put this first. We got the cheesecake, and look at the price. It was fantastic. We enjoyed our experience so much that later in the week, we went back to try the pizza, and it was very good as well. I found most of these restaurants asking Facebook groups for suggestions and looking on TripAdvisor. We're going to be trying blueberries. This is over at Barefoot Landing in North Myrtle Beach. Barefoot Landing is a fantastic place to go check out. I actually just made a whole video about that really cool place. Blueberries, there's two of these that I saw on Myrtle Beach. I don't know if it's a chain or not, but it, it's got such an amazing breakfast and lunch menu. They also have a cocktail menu that you could get like Bloody Marys and mimosas. They even have like mimosa flights there. It's a really good kind of brunch place. Blueberries Cafe has indoor and outdoor seating and has a very cool like vibe. <laughs> now it's time for some food. <laughs> My husband got the Bananas Foster French Toast and I had the avocado and tomato uh, eggs Benedict. And check out these mugs. <laughs> Great marketing, guys. I really love that. That's awesome. I found it to be pretty busy for a weekday. It seems like it's a very popular place. Biggest complaints on TripAdvisor are basically the price. You know, people thinking it's too expensive, but you're getting a lot of food. The place is great. We enjoyed our experience there. Now we're going to have another cool experience with Restaurant Week. This place is called Hot Tomatoes. I found this restaurant actually researching the restaurant, you know, week to see which restaurants were participating. So I was really happy. It was a really cool find. Like Ducati, is it was one set price. It was a little higher, but you received more food at Hot Tomatoes. You each got it your own entree, dessert, and appetizer. They start you off with the bread and the oil. I ordered the stuffed mushrooms for the appetizer, and my husband ordered they had pizzas that you could order for an appetizer. This was the margarita pizza I believe he ordered. It was delicious. We loved it. The second course was either a soup or salad. We both wanted to try the soups. My husband got the pasta fazool and I got the tomato bisque. For entrees, there were, it was more like a limited menu, but they did have the chicken marsala. <laughs> so I tried it here as well. And my husband got, it was like their house special. It was like the pasta hot tomato. It had chicken and vegetables in it. Both of them were really good. We really enjoyed our visit there and the place was cute. I loved it. Um, we had tiramisu and cheesecake to finish off our dinner. And I think it was all 50 bucks. Okay, it's time for breakfast again. On our trip last year, we really wanted to try this place called Croissants, and we never made it, so we had to make it high on our priority list. It's like a French bakery restaurant. This place gives you a lot of food, as you're going to see. I had ordered, uh, it was like, a, and I know I'm gonna butcher this name. I believe it's called a croquet, madame. <laughs> I could be wrong, but it was really, really good. It was an open face sandwich with two sunny side eggs on top of it. After ordering, our server came out with these two little mini muffins for us. 
That was a nice little surprise. We really enjoyed our visit here. You know, it had a nice vibe. I could totally appreciate a breakfast place that has stuff that's not typically on like a diner menu. You know, getting a sandwich like this was really good. And my husband ordered the quiche and the same thing. It was a ton of food. It came with the croissant and it was like a cheesy potato next to it. That was like three meals in one. It was humongous. Okay, now I'm gonna take you down to Myrtle Beach. We're gonna go check out Angelo's Steak and Pasta. I was really looking for some sort of buffet type meal, but a lot of places are seafood. And I don't personally like seafood myself. So this one I heard was pasta. So I'm like, hey, let's go check this out. Walking through here was really fun. There was a, like a lot of different rooms. <laughs> it kind of went on and on and on. <laughs> After being seated, they brought salad and bread out to your table. I decided to go to the buffet because that's what I'm here for. Um, it's not a buffet that you go and you pick the stuff. There's people that serve it to you. You tell them what you want and they put it on a plate for you. There was a lot of different food offerings as far as pasta go, and they also had pizza as well. Here's a peek of the entrees that I chose to try. <laughs> it's like fun to try a little of this, a little of that. I really love the pasta carbonara. That was really good. My husband just got a meal. He got a, it was like a petite filet mignon, but it came with green beans and potatoes, and the prices here were fantastic. That was a really good deal. Now we're gonna go to breakfast again. We're gonna go to Drift, a coastal eatery. Visually, this place is really cool. It has like a tropical sort of feel to it. It's very big and open, it has a very high ceiling. I really love the aesthetic in here. Look at this menu, there's a ton of variety. They're open for breakfast and lunch. I believe they're open to seven till three. There's indoor and outside dining. It was a really hard choice figuring out what to order, but I ended up ordering, it was like avocado Benedict and had little roasted potatoes. It was so flavorful, I absolutely loved it. My husband had the French toast with a side of bacon. We both enjoyed our meals a lot. We had no complaints at this place. We really loved everything. All right, you guys ready for some Italian food? If you guys are enjoying this video, can you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button? In the meantime, I'm gonna be taking you guys over to Crave. I kept hearing recommendations for Crave over and over and over, and I could see why. We were there for lunch, and the prices were fantastic, and the food was just as good. The lunch portions came with the super salad. This is a little look at the minestrone right here. Uh, we also got the meatballs on the side because I heard they were so good and they were fantastic. I absolutely loved them. And I had to try the chicken marsala. It was so reasonably priced and it was delicious. I loved it. My husband Kelly ordered the lunch portion of the chicken sandwich and he was very pleased as well. We still have a lot more to come. I hope you guys aren't too hungry. I'm gonna take you out for brunch now. It's Sunday and I'm looking for something really cool to do. I know there's a lot of brunches in town, but I really wanted to check out the Gospel Brunch at House of Blues. And I'm so very glad we did because it was definitely one of my favorite dining experiences in Myrtle Beach. I wasn't sure if we needed a reservation or not, but we just walked in and we were able to get seated. This was about 10 o'clock on a Sunday morning, which was a very good time to go. It really wasn't a lot of people here at this point. By the time we were leaving, there was tons of people coming in. I'm absolutely in love with the decor of this place. Eclectic city, it is so cool, so unique, just awesome vibe. Here is a little look at the seating and the setup of the House of Blues. I wasn't sure how the seating was gonna go, if it was like, you know, when you go to a show and they have like long tables where you sit with people, but you have your own table. They had seatings on the floor level and then a couple steps up, they had also more seating. They had tables and booths. They had a separate room where they had the food set up. Uh, here's a little sampling of all the food offerings that they had. The food was really good. I really enjoyed it a lot. Um, I love the bread pudding. I could have just ate that alone. Uh, it was $42, which seems a little bit high, but it comes, you know, obviously with the entertainment, which they are fantastic. I absolutely loved it. And I think you have like about an hour and a half you have the table for where you could go and graze and have a little of this, a little of that. It comes with coffee and juice. And they also have a bar set up if you want to order cocktails as well. You could go to the bar. And I think, you know, they also have a server that will come around and get you drinks as well. This was a brunch menu. So you're you're gonna get breakfast and lunch options and they also had someone that was making omelets right there to go so you know I think it was a really good value for what it was House of Blues is a really cool place and uh, I just love the whole barefoot landing area at the end of this video I'll leave my Myrtle Beach playlist and I have videos of barefoot landing including a longer version and more detailed version of this dining experience if you want to check it out at the end of this video
I absolutely love this experience. The acoustics in there are fantastic and the singers were great. It was really soul shaking. I loved it. Another place that was high on our priority list to go check out was Dagwoods. I've heard so much great stuff about it over and over and over again, and we never got to try it last year. So we definitely are making an effort to go see it. We are here for lunch. It is during the week. This is the Dagwoods that is in North Myrtle Beach. I believe there's another one too. That That's probably maybe what I was recommended to, but when we put Dagwoods in the GPS, it brought us here. And I'm very glad it did because I really loved this place. It was so cool. It's a sports bar, but like you can look at the menu. There's so many great choices. I ended up getting the jerk chicken sandwich, which came with tons of fresh vegetables. The rolls are fantastic. It had fresh coleslaw, loved it. My husband adored his. He was like, oh my God, this is so good. It was like a steak and cheese sandwich that he had ordered and he like loved it. When I'm away, I try to patronize places that like the locals go, you know, places that aren't chains. So this one just really hit the spot on so many different levels. Now let's go check out Villa Romana. This one also came very highly recommended to us. I went on a Facebook group about Myrtle Beach. I'm like, hey, could someone throw me some recommendations? We only have a few days left. Look at they have real flowers on the table. Love that. The restaurant itself, it was very white and bright. It wasn't a dark type of restaurant. The staff was very professional, very excellent staff. The menu was very good. The prices were fair. I mean, I they give you a lot of food. You're going to see in a second. They start you off with like a bruschetta. This isn't like, you know, extra, you know, they just stuff that they give you. They also gave you a soup. Sort of reminded me like when you go to a sit down wedding and you get like one course after the other, you know, so it was pretty cool. They also gave you the bread. It was like a full basket of bread, but it also came with sauce too, like marinara sauce, which I thought was really unique and cool. Um, you got salad with your meal. I mean, it was like this endless amount of food that kept coming. My husband's picking the olives out of my salad. I'm not a fan of olives. <laughs> I loved my meal. It was like chicken and it had, I can't remember what it was stuffed with, but this sauce was delicious and the vegetables were perfect. My husband got the chicken parmesan. Both of them came with spaghetti. It was just a really nice meal. We had a really good time there. And I didn't get chicken marsala. See, I was living on the edge. <laughs> now we're going to go check out this bakery over here. It was right by where I was staying. It's called Le Bon Cafe and Bakery, another French place. We did not personally dine there. We were just looking for a grab and go to bring back to our resort. But it was so good. This muffin was the best muffin I think I ever had. So I really wanted to feature it in this video. Of course, you can dine there. They had indoor and outdoor seating. We were staying at the very beautiful Marriott Ocean Watch. It's a timeshare. It's amazing. I'm going to be making a video a full resort tour of that resort coming up next and here's a little peek at our room <laughs> okay let, let's talk about the food my husband ordered the egg sandwich on a croissant which came with fresh fruit it was absolutely wonderful and perfect um we just ordered pastries and muffins to get us you know we just had sweet tooths that day that one right there on the left with the it had like a cinnamon crumb top and it had Fresh peaches inside, amazing. All right, now I'm getting off track. We're going to Hamburger Joe's, which came highly recommended too. This place, it was so cute. I wasn't sure what to expect. This is the kind of place you could go get dollar beers and the hamburgers. Oh my God, I wish I had one now. You could get them plain, but I went with the works. I got chili and everything on mine. It was so good and it was so cheap. I think this is the kind of place that's always busy and I can see why. We also got the french fries and we got an order of the coleslaw too. The coleslaw was very unique to me. I had never seen coleslaw like that before. I hope everyone that is watching this video is getting some good ideas about where they want to dine on their next trip to Myrtle Beach. If you have dined in any of these places, feel free to let me know in the comments below how your experience was. I'd love to hear from you. Now I'm gonna take you over to the Marriott Hotel. This is the resort that is in North Myrtle Beach right next to Ocean Watch Villas where I was staying. My YouTube channel that you're currently watching is about resort tours. So I was here filming. So I'm like, hey, well, let's go get breakfast while we're here. This place has a beautiful view. This resort is a convention hotel, but there was no conventions here at the time we were there. So getting a table with a nice view is no problem. I had ordered the vegetable omelet, which came with the side of hash browns. It also came with some sourdough toast, which was really good. My husband Kelly ordered the hash and eggs, which came with the side of hash browns and sourdough toast as well. He liked his a lot. He enjoyed it. 
Okay, now I'm gonna take you guys back to Barefoot Landing. Like I said earlier, this place is awesome for food. They have so many great restaurants. We're gonna try Taco Mundo today. We really wanted to try a Mexican restaurant because we haven't been to one yet. So we had heard this was great. And also we were thinking about Nacho Hippo. We will go to Nacho Hippo next time. We really had to flip a coin <laughs> which one we were gonna go check out. Look at this place. It's huge and colorful and fun. And it wasn't that busy, which I like. <laughs> I love going away in the off season. I'm sure it does not look like this when the weather warms up. Taco Mundo had a huge selection, a large menu. And it also had like happy hour prices and day of the week prices and specials. I mean, it was just, it was very confusing. <laughs> so we ended up with a, a lot of food. We weren't drinking alcohol on this trip, so at least the margarita decisions <laughs> were a little bit easier this time. We started off with the chips and dips, sort of like kind of appetizer. It was really good, but they also gave you chips and salsa as well. I ordered the fajitas. Look at this, like how the cheese is melting as they brought it out. It was piping hot and so delicious. The fajitas came with a basket of flour tortillas. It also came with guacamole and sour cream. Um, there was a lot of food. Uh, I, did, I didn't want the rice and beans, so they gave me some street corn instead. So that was awesome. My husband ended up getting, uh, it was a salad with chicken and all kinds of stuff on it. He really liked his as well. He said everything was really fresh. We ordered way too much food, <laughs> but it was really fun. It's really hard to say what our favorite dining experience was because we liked everything for different reasons, but we could both say that we loved Tenfold Biscuit. Food, oh my God, so good. Absolutely loved it. The place, you know, you go in and you order, it's nothing fancy or anything like that, but, and it's not that the portions are huge and the prices are great, it's none of that. The food just tastes amazing. And it's orange juice, uh, oh my God, loved it. Breakfast. Yeah, breakfast, you buy that. <laughs> Some kind of a BLT, fried green tomato. Oh my God, that looks amazing. Yeah. Lots of bacon. Wow. And arugula. Some kind of messy sauce. Cheers. Enjoy. And here's a look at our plates about 15 minutes later. <laughs> that says it all. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it for you. If you want to see more of my videos of Myrtle Beach, click on the playlist on the left. This is your host and your foodie tour guide, Jennifer Sparks. Be well to yourself and be kind to others and safe travels to you.